That is the face of someone that will destroy anything and everything. That is the face of social justice right there. Frost from G4. It has been a disaster for this company since they allowed Frost to get on their own channel and trash the entire fan base. A fan base that was built off of Olivia Munn being hot as hell, but also having really interesting takes. Not only just Olivia Munn, but many other attractive women doing really cool and funny things, but also being very provocative and building up that entire brand. And Frost decided to trash all of them. And it has been a disaster for the company since that moment. Now, it doesn't begin and end with Frost. Frost is just one of the pieces of the puzzle, but this was the biggest hit that they took but you had people like Blair Herter there someone that has a severe case of TDS who's no longer there now now we have news that another executive is now gone from G4 and it just continues to get worse G4's post frost grant woes continue as network president Russell Aaron's jump ship leaves position after less than a year that's right Things will st uh, continue to stay rocky for the network, who proudly promoted their host's dismissal of fans dissatisfied with their host as sexist fanboys who should stop hoping for change and instead stop watching their offerings. Uh, as a new report has confirmed that G4 TV's uh, now former president, Russell Aarons, exited the network after less than a year in that position. So there you have, again, Frost. Now... This Frost grant that was such a massive hit for G4. Now, at the time, they promoted it. At the time, they celebrated it. And if you criticized it, you were just a toxic, se sexist man baby, just like all the other man babies uh, that she was apparently talking about. And you were dismissed. And she was cheered all over the company. All of the heads of the company were just cheering her on because she was so brave and so stunning and it needed to be said. That is no longer on YouTube, at least that I can find. Now, uh, Vera Dark put this out. So G4 has finally hidden the Frost rant on the same day the president left the network. You're about eight months late, guys. Now, so the video is not there. I don't know if it was removed today or yesterday. Um, Vera Dark seems to think that it was, and, and she's got a great video on it, by the way, so please go check out um, her video over on her YouTube channel. She's covering a lot of this G4 stuff as well, and she's a great YouTuber. Um, but since it's not on X-Play or G4's channel anymore, I'm going to play it here because there is a re-upload right here. So let's, let's remember the greatness of this trash fire, this trash fire from Frost. Here we go but I actually want to talk about something so much more important than Red Dead Online. Sexism in gaming. In joining G4... Yes! In, this is not where I thought we were going, know, but I'm here. I have no here. idea. I'm listening. Yeah. In joining G4, I was ecstatic to be part of something that I grew up watching as a child. But every time G4 is brought up in various channels, even in this YouTube channel, we have the chat in front of us, I can see you, without a doubt, there will be backlash because I'm not as bangable as the previous host. It somehow- Talk to him, Frost! It has somehow been expected that you can talk about how much you jerked off to women as a compliment. That's it's weird. not a compliment. It's weird. It's dehumanizing and it's weird. Women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn did not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Hey, she cooking, y'all. And that's just <laughs> obvious sexism. These people are such clowns. You got Adam Sessler there who has shown how demented and twisted he is. I mean, it, it, and then we got talked to him, Frost guy. Uh, the completionist is there, which I, I wasn't even aware of him when this all went down. I don't know what these guys are still doing. I, G4 is so insignificant at this point in time. Uh, but the fact that she's just being cheered on and hyped up and propped up and she feels like she's saying all the right things because all of these people are too scared to check her and say, you're insane. What is wrong with you? You're completely insane. And 
it's so funny that after all of that cheering and all of the hoopla and all of the social media, uh, you know, from uh, G4 promoting this and, and saying how brave it was and Adam Central saying, I stream with my heroes and all of that, it's just been a disaster since. And I am having the best time watching this all play out. Now, I, I have to mention, because even though I have such a, uh, you know, a problem with G4, and I do, I have a massive problem with G4, that does not apply to one Gina Darling. Uh, Gina Darling and I had a back and forth on social media uh, with uh, basically me responding to a tweet where they were referencing Gina. I thought they meant Gina Carano. They didn't. They meant Gina Darling. Me and Gina Darling had a nice back and forth. We shared a few messages. She's awesome. She's great. So while I have major problems with G4, none of anything I say has anything to do with her. I like her. I think she's great. And uh, I just wanted to give uh, context to that. Now back to this piece of garbage right here, Frost, who is <laughs> obviously a piece of garbage, a terrible person, who said point blank, who said point blank, that she didn't want Trump supporters supporting her. She point blank said that. She said that. Now, again, you can vote for who you want to vote for. You can support for who you want to support. But when you actively go out of your way to disrespect 74 million Americans, and then you get pushback and you're playing the fake victim, when you, you're the one that threw out the insults first. It's so funny. It's so funny to watch this all play out. Now, Frost has pretty much deleted everything on Twitter prior to all of this. I'm sure she's got tweets now, but she deleted everything on Twitter. She, she wiped her entire Twitter because she's a coward and she's trying to create a narrative. And so that's just what they do. So G4 is going to continue to be a disaster. It's going to continue to be a train wreck. And Frost, as long as she's with this company, they're never going to move forward. They're never going to move forward. And they don't deserve to, because when you're going to have a piece of garbage like this that's trash, openly trashing the people that have supported your company, and you're not going to do anything about it, that's a problem. Now, it won't be a problem if you have various voices there that maybe somebody says, like, yeah, Frost is an idiot or whatever. Hell, there's people at Geeks and Gamers that'll say, I'm an idiot, <laughs> not like... 100%, like, obviously, you know, we all have a common level of respect, but they can say, like, I totally think his views are crazy or his opinions are crazy because we have that type of indiv individuality here. We just do, you know? Whereas G4, you got all these clowns up there, like, clapping like seals while she's doing that. You're like, hold on, Frost, maybe we shouldn't, maybe we shouldn't disrespect the entire audience. They can't check her because she will call them a sexist they're terrified of her. This is such a bad situation, and it's going to continue to be bad as long as this person is there. But when you hire social justice weirdos, you get what you deserve. You never, ever, ever give them anything. Don't give them any leeway whatsoever because you it's the literal definition of give them an inch and they'll take a mile. And then once they get that mile, they're going to want another mile and another mile and another mile. It's never enough and it'll never be enough for these freaks. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Appreciate your support. Hope you're enjoying all the content from Geeks and Gamers on all of our various YouTube channels. It's so funny that we have 10 YouTube channels, yet no one talks about any channel but this one. It's almost like it's almost like they're not paying attention to anything going on but that's fine with me keep talking about us keep helping us because we're doing great appreciate you guys have a great day and we will talk to you later